minus 40 seconds. Stable at step three. Closing in on 30 seconds before launch. Three seconds before launch, the powerful RD-180 engine will ignite. 25. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go. Everything is go. T-minus 15 seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Atlas V and NOAA's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather watching eye in the sky to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path, an azimuth of 100.7 degrees. At 35 seconds, the rocket carrying GOES-S will reach Mach 1, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Roll program is complete. The speed chamber pressures are rolling off as expected. At 47 seconds after launch, the vehicle will pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Max, max, max Q. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and the resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Booster has throttled up as expected. You are also hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance flight commentator Marty Malinowski. SRB chamber pressures continue to look good at plateau. At 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, the first two solid rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed about a second and a half later an by burnout. other boosters. And we have indication of SRB burnout. 